Hi everyone, this video is to clear up some confusion in how to submit your WordPress blog link uh, to, as an assignment each week. So this being week one, I'm going to step you through it. Uh, what we're looking at right here is our Schoology page, just as if we had signed in. So we have all of our recent activity. What we're going to need to do in order to submit the assignment is go to the actual assignment page. We can come down to here and go to LTech 1100 and click on our course. You might be in a different section, so the section number might be a diff slightly different. Uh, and then we're going to come over here to Assignments. And this will give us our full list of assignments. Everything that's due from now to the end of the semester is listed here in pretty much chronological order. So this week you could see due today being September 4th, the pretest and Reflection 1. So we can click to Reflection 1 and now we're seeing all the information about our blog. Here's part one, what we should write, part two, what we should write, some comments that have uh, sprung up over the last week as we've discussed the assignments. But in order to submit it, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the top right corner and it says, in my case it's saying resubmit an assignment because I've already submitted it once. But if this is your first time submitting the assignment, it will say submit assignment. Schoology will let you resubmit an assignment over and over again, so it's okay if you need to, if you submit it once and you realize, hey, I've got a problem, I left out something important, I need to change, you can just come back here, press the same button, upload a new copy, or write, type out a new message, and resubmit it, and we will keep and look at your submission. It will, it'll show us your newest one. Actually, it'll show us all of them but your newest one will come up first for us. So we're going to click Submit Assignment. Here it is. Now we have three options. We can upload a file, so you could take your permanent link from your WordPress blog, insert it into a Word document, and upload it. And that's okay, but here's the best way to do it. The best way is to use the second option called Create. So I'm going to click Create, and now it's giving us a Word editor just like what we saw in WordPress, and if we type out any comments, we get this as well. So now I'm going to go over to my WordPress blog. I'm going to leave this open. I've got WordPress opened in another browser. And here's what I'm going to post up. And here's my permanent link. Now, a quick little note about this permanent link. You can see right here my title is a little bit long. And you can see that's specified by these three ellipses right here, the three dots, dot, dot, dot. So what it's actually doing is shortening the title. But if we just copied and pasted this with those three little dots, we wouldn't get an accurate website. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to hit View Post. And it's going to let me see my actual post. There it is. And I'm going to come up here to the top to the URL bar and I'm going to highlight all of this, everything in there. That's my permanent link just as if it was in the, uh, the permanent link space where we looked at it just a minute ago. But here there's no more of those ellipses. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit copy, and I'm going to come back to Schoology. And I'm going to paste it into Schoology. And I'm just say And now there we go. We have a complete and total link. We also could actually write this as a link itself. We could say click here. Click here for my reflections. And I'm just gonna highlight reflections. And now notice I have a few more options. I'm going to press this one that looks like a ed, uh, that's going to look like a chain link. It says insert edit link. I'm going to copy it. I get this other little pop up. I'm going to move it over here so we can see it better. And it's asking where is the link URL. So now I'm just going to copy the same code from right here, right there. Target. Um, we're going to say we're going to open this in a new window, and we're going to call it Reflections, and click insert. And now notice, changed my little, uh, my just text into a hyperlink. If I click that, it would take me directly there as well. 
So now I'm going to hit submit and my assignment is submitted. And as you can see, uh, in your Dropbox, Schoology is showing you all the items you've submitted. So revision one, revision two, submitted on time. If it was late, it would say read late. Uh, it would also tell us if it was graded or not graded. So that's all there is to it. So I hope this has cleared up any of the confusion about inserting uh, permanent links into and submitting them for a grade in Schoology.